How's it going everybody? Martin with Bellevoro Auto Spa. Um, so today we've got the Suds Lab ceramic products in. Um, I purchased these online from Walmart. The soap is $18.98. The others are $12.97, so about $13. Um, my local, one of my local Walmarts actually does carry these as well because they forgot to pack this one, so I had to get it refunded to go to the store and buy it. Um, but I, I have about three Walmarts that are close by to me, and I only found the Suds Lab at one of them. Um, so your experience may vary if they carry Suds Lab or not. Suds Lab is not a Walmart brand. Uh, Suds Lab is a legitimate detailing brand. They just happen to, to get their products on shelves in Walmart before any other retail stores, which good for them. Um, you know, this is a uh, 32 ounce and 64 ounce bottles. You don't really find that at Walmart. Most things like 12, 16 ounces, so it's pretty cool. Um, otherwise, you can get these all on Amazon for about $20. This will come in a 32 ounce instead of a 64. Uh, so for, tw yeah, $20. So the soap, <laughs> you can get a 64 ounce for $20 at Walmart or $20 for a 32 ounce at Amazon. Uh, you're definitely going to be saving money if you're able to pick it up at Walmart. But I'll put the links to Amazon just in case you do want it. Um, either way, you know, $20 for a 32 ounce bottle, that's not bad. That's usually the price for a 16 ounce bottle. Uh, especially their ceramic hydro coat, it's a spray and rinse. Um, even the soap, those usually cost more. But anyways, we're going to be testing out the ceramic detail spray and the ceramic spray sealant from Suds Lab. Um, I'll go over these as well. So these smell exactly how they look. Uh, this is kind of like a strawberry scent. It's like an orange scent. It's like a blue raspberry scent, um, which is a good. They smell good. Um, they're pretty easy to apply. Now I did apply them when it was a little humid, so it took a little bit longer to flash off. Um, but I had a nice streak-free finish. And the way I applied them on the test panel is I did uh, one, two layers of this, uh, two layers of this, and then I did this with a layer on this on top in a third section. Uh, the hydro coat, because of the spray and rinse, I won't be torture testing that, I'll just be demonstrating it. Same with the uh, ceramic protective wash, um, but we'll get to that in a different video. Real quick, uh, if anybody from Suds Lab ends up catching this video, I know they did comment on my uh, video of their XA wheel cleaner. Um, you guys are hard to get in contact with. Uh, I see you have a, a phone number on your website. Um, that's it. You don't have an email, there's no email to contact you. You're not active on Facebook, you're not active on YouTube. Uh, apparently you're active on TikTok and Instagram, which is good. Um, me personally, you know, I'm in my 30s, I don't really use those apps. There's just things that are relevant to me and all good content ends up on Facebook anyways. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna test these out. Um, again, they're very easy to use. So we're gonna see how durable they are. I'm gonna go through my normal gauntlet of chemicals, starting from the uh, most delicate all the way up to the most aggressive. And yeah, we're gonna see how they hold out. Um, we're gonna talk about the slickness, how they look on the paint, things like that. Uh, so let's go over to the test panel and take a look. Before we go over that though, let me just show you a close up of the label. I do like their labeling, it is very simple. Um, you, know what, you know what the product is just by looking at it. You wanna read anything, feel free to pause. And it says this lasts for between weeks and months. So expect about a month, use it full strength. Yeah, these aren't concentrates. Um, and then the ceramic spray sealant. And I like how they're simple names too. You're not giving them like crazy names like a lot of companies do. This says it'll last for months. So this should be the longer product to use. I'm just curious. Ceramic Hydro Coat says it'll last. Also, so right in between. And then the ceramic protective wash. For weeks. So, and I know these, the ceramic protective wash I at least know works. I did a, a video demo of it. Somebody else did a video of it too. So I know it's not just full of crap like a lot of those uh, ceramic soaps out there. I'd say about 25% of the ceramic soaps out there actually do add visible protection. The others are just marketing. They're not really adding any protection, they're just slicker. Um, let's get over to the panel. Let's take a look to see how uh, this looks on the paint. So here we are, we got the detailer right here, sealant right here, and then the stack of the sealant with the detailer on top. So it looks like, from what I can see, the detailer seems to add more depth than the sealant, but they all add really good depth. Now this panel I corrected with a cutting, uh, a medium cutting pad and a cutting compound so I could intentionally leave some haze in the finish so we could see the filling ability of these. I always do that. So you can see the tape lines between the uh, sections. 
Um, and these have had a full 24 hours of cure. I recommend any ceramic product, give it 24 hours before you uh, start exposing it to water. That way it gives it time to cure on the panel. Um, but yeah, that's it. So next, I'm gonna set the camera up at a good, try a somewhat good angle, try my best. And uh, we will see what the hydrophobics look like and the durability, or chemical resistance, I should say. All right, that should be a decent enough angle, hopefully. So, let's test this out. See how it reacts to the water first. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but it doesn't seem that hydrophobic. Maybe there's residue on the surface. I mean, it, okay, it is hydrophobic, but it's not quite what I was expecting. I was expecting much more hydrophobic with it being a ceramic product. Not very impressive so far. Floods easily, so definitely not in the realm of hydrophobics. Um, oh yeah, real quick, slickness, the detailer, I forgot to mention the detailer, is a little bit slicker than the sealant, um, but they're both very slick in their own respect. So let's switch to a mist setting. I always do that. So yeah, the water beads on the detailer are not so great. On the sealant, they are better. But on the stack, because it's got the detailer on top, it's kind of meh. The sealant uh, seems to be the strong one here, which is good. You expect a sealant to be better than a detailer. So first thing we're gonna do then is uh, we're gonna wash it with some car wash soap. I'm using hybrid solutions. Um, hybrid Solutions Pure Wash, so just the pH neutral car shampoo. So just in case any residue did get on here, which I don't know how it would, um, but this will wash it off. Okay, um, there is no residue. The sealant is more hydrophobic, but again, I expected a lot more from ceramic products. If you guys have seen my videos, most ceramic products do a lot better than this, but I can still see a clear outline, so I know the product's there. It is making the paint look good, um, and it's making the water sheet off. So these are more of sheeters and they're beaters. Some people might like that. People will say, oh, it gets more water off your paint. That's true if you flood the panel. If you're using a pressure washer with it rains, that's not going to happen, um, but if you flood the panel with a lot of water, it'll sheet off. So let's start the test. Uh, first chemical we're going to use is Hybrid Solutions Rapid Decon Iron Remover and Wheel Cleaner. This is a close to pH neutral uh, iron removing wheel cleaner. So it is safe on uh, delicate wheels. Should be a delicate chemical to use to clean. With the performance, how it's going so far, I'm not sure that any of these will make it all the way through the test. Let's find out. Already taking a hit from the iron remover. And it's there, it's slowly sheeting through. The sealant standalone definitely is better than the product stacked together um, and the detailer. So it's slowly sheeting away. All right, let's bump it up. Uh, we're using the uh, Chemical Guys Nonsense All Purpose Cleaner, pH Neutral uh, All Purpose Cleaner. Pretty good one to use for interiors. I've got to add a five to one dilution from full strength.
still somewhat hanging in there. Slowly sheeting away. So let's bump it up to a 3D super degreaser. This is an alkaline degreaser at their strongest dilution ratio, uh, but since it's a nano pail, uh, their dilution ratios are always something crazy, like 100 to 1, 500 to 1, so I don't know exactly what it is, uh, but it's whatever they suggested for the strongest dilution, so that's what I did. All right, we're still slowly sheeting away. So it's been slow sheeting the whole time, um, which is good. It seems like that's how it holds on. So let's go ahead and bump it up to the next one. 3D yellow degreaser, wheel and tire cleaner, a one to one dilution ratio. Find these to be a little bit stronger than standard degreasers because they're formulated to clean rubber and really foam up. It's a little bit more active surfactants, I guess you could say. breaking through. I'm gonna try one more chemical. But I mean it's 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 still sheeting away so maybe that was their intention. Uh, so next is uh Meguiar's wheel brightener. This is an acid acid wheel cleaner pretty strong something you only want to use on a uh, factory clear coated wheels not aftermarket wheels. All right, you can kind of see there the outline on the ceiling. Detailer is in, the stack is in. I'm just, I'm not really impressed by the detailer. The ceiling though, the ceiling's doing well. Let's go ahead and wipe that in. Alright, sealant's still coming through a little bit, but uh, not really any faster than the sections that don't have any protection. Maybe slightly faster, but not really, so 
I can still see an outline of it, which is crazy, so it's still making the paint look good. So, uh, as far as making the paint look good, it's definitely going to do that. Uh, I mean, it's a sheeter. Absolutely, it's a sheeter. It's not a beater. Um, and it is slick feeling, so I got that going for me. That, again, that might, be, might have been their intention. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just curious. I'm going to grab the ceramic hydro coat and uh, see how that looks on here. You know, I'll, do, I'll be doing a full video on it, but I just want to see how it looks. Spray is it? Just it off. So you can revitalize it with the ceramic hydro coat, definitely, um, which also not a strong beater. So, <coughs> excuse me, it just seems Suds Lab isn't going for water beating, which is fine. Uh, they're going for water sheeting, but uh, they're definitely resilient, so there's that. And they look great on the paint still, you can still see that outline on the sealant. Even the detailer to some extent, so as far as making your car look good, they're going to do that. But the sealant is, uh, in my opinion, definitely going to be the way to go. Let's go into final thoughts. All right, so the Suns Lab products. If you like products that sheet water, these are the products for you. Me personally, I don't like sheeting products. I like beading products. Um, they tend to last longer, but as far as chemical resistance goes, this, this did good. I mean, it, it performed the same pretty much through the whole test. Um, not super hydrophobic water beading, so again, not a big deal. Now, these don't claim that they're super hydrophobic. They just say that it gives you hydrophobic protection, and it does. Uh, we saw even the uh, Hydro Coat just gives basic hydrophobic protection. And what I've seen from the, excuse me, the Ceramic Protective Wash, same thing. So, I mean, not bad. Um, now, if, would I use these on ceramic coated cars? No, because ceramic coated cars usually are very hydrophobic, so this is going to hinder that performance, unless you prefer that. If you prefer that, then go ahead. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I'm going to put links uh, to these products below if you're interested in purchasing. And I'll see you all in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, let me know your thoughts. I'm getting tongue twisted. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I will see you all in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.